Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Welcome to another edition of Fight Sticks of the Month. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you watch my channel at all, you'll know I'm a massive fan of arcade games and fighting games, hence being a fan of arcade sticks and fight sticks. Every month I go over the best of the best from Reddit Fight Sticks. Reddit Fight Sticks is an amazing community, a lot of friendly members, a lot of talented members, and if you're into Reddit at all, if you're into Fight Sticks at all, I highly recommend checking out Reddit Fight Sticks. Good times are pretty much guaranteed. Now, every month here, I try to make things better and better. In January, I shorten the list from a whole bunch to top 10. In February, I shorten the list even more to a top 5. And in March here, well, I'm going to expand the list back to 10. I think right now that's a pretty sweet spot. So we'll start out now in 10th place. Here we're spotlighting a first timer. They have a Mayflash F500 and they've done some customizations. I love the Celeste theme here. The buttons go along with the theme very nicely. The ball top that is kind of a translucent purple blue makes a lot of sense. This is a really nice theme overall and it ties in nicely with Skyline, the Nintendo Switch emulator on Android, considering they have Celeste up and running at 60 frames a second. And truth be told here, for a first time mod, this turned out very clean and very nice. Now moving on to ninth place and we've got another first timer. They have a modded Quamba Obsidian and it's the Noir version. I don't want to say the Noir version is more desirable than the standard Quamba Obsidian, but it is a little bit more rare. It does have a bit of a different layout. Normally, the obsidian has a silver metallic side panel and front panel here, but they have painted it purple. They have also kept that metallic effect. This is a really clean and nice paint job. The silver metallic ball top here ties in really nicely. I like how the artwork continues on through the buttons, and it's a nice choice in artwork. I like that they went with purple LEDs around the buttons here to tie in with the overall theme. Looking at the inside of the case, it's a little bit messy, but at the same time, it's their first stick. Maybe their next mod will be to clean up the wiring a little bit, but at the same time, nobody really sees it. They did tape down some wiring here, and they did label the buttons, which is really nice. Overall, this stick is really clean and great job on your first stick. Moving on to 8th place, and we have an entirely DIY stick here that is very, very smooth, and we'll get to that in just a second. It is an all-button controller, a hitbox style layout, and the layout of this is a little bit different. They seem to have angled the buttons a little bit, I don't want to say extreme here, maybe it's the angle of the photo, but they do look a little bit off. It almost looks like a custom layout of sorts but they did go with leds around the buttons here to add some color considering most of this is all black i do like the top buttons here that they stick out a little bit they'll probably be pretty hard to accidentally hit uh, the spacing seems to be a little bit off as well but that might be the angle of the photo but if we take a look this is what i mean by smooth these edges are very very smooth the top is smooth it looks really nice, and it's USB-C. Now taking a look at the inside of the stick, and it appears that the bottom panel is held to the top panel by magnets. I love this, it makes opening up the stick a heck of a lot easier, you don't have to worry about screws. I do wish more sticks did this, and I think more will in the future, it seems to be the new way of doing things. The Brook UFB here is powering this stick in this photo, the wiring is a little bit messy, but you don't see on the inside of it in this thing, so it's absolutely fine. In this photo here, it's powered by the Brook Retro Board, and overall, this thing is very, very smooth, very clean, great job. In seventh place, this one is a little bit hard to see due to the glare, but it's a faux hammer, it's a wooden stick, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Full hammer sticks are amazing, and well, this one is no exception. Now, the top panel on this one is clear, so you can see on the inside, and they've done a great job here at making that wiring extremely clean. And check out these custom button tops. It looks like the plexi on the top is raised a little bit. It is etched, and this stick is overall just straight up gorgeous. Moving on to sixth place, and I'm not quite sure if this is a first time build or not. I took a look at their profile. I didn't see any other fight sticks there. So if they're not a first time builder, let me know in the comments below. But either way, this stick is gorgeous. It's wooden as well, and we've got Mario and Donkey Kong. And it looks like they gutted an 8-bit dough stick and 
well, built a brand new case for it, and I'm glad they did. I am also glad that they included more photos of this stick and in a lot of detail. So if we take a look here at this side, even at the top, even at the bottom, it doesn't matter, all over this stick. This is all wood, it's not a print. This person carved all of this out. I don't even know if this is stain or if they're just different types of wood here, but we can see the detail in Mario and Peach. This would have taken quite a bit of skill and quite a bit of time. And the end result here is, I don't wanna say I'm speechless, but wow, this is great. Now, if for some reason you're not impressed, the artwork goes around this entire stick. There's layers upon layers upon layers here and probably about a thousand pieces of wood. Moving on to fifth place, and my favorite part about this stick isn't on the outside, even though it's absolutely gorgeous, it's on the inside. So we'll start here on the outside and we've got some elusive gamer finger buttons that are kind of hard to get your hands on nowadays. Uh, the artwork is great. I love the swoosh here and how everything ties in together. I said swoosh, that's completely not right, but whatever here. Uh, we're just having some fun. The artwork is great, the layout is great. Uh, the sides on this are really nice. It's like a carbon fiber texture. And if we take a look here, this carbon fiber-ish texture goes around the entirety of the case. However, taking a look at the inside of this stick, and well, this is my favorite part for a number of reasons. Uh, number one, the parts in this thing are insane. The second thing here is it's absolutely clean as all get out. So we've got those gamer finger buttons we already talked about. It's powered by a Brook UFB. Look how clean this wiring is. And I'm not going to tell you what this lever is. If you've watched any of my fight stick videos, you probably know right away. But this is not a cheap lever by any means. This is a very, very special lever. And in addition to all of that, I'm pretty sure whoever took the photo knows I love the insides of a fight stick. And they've displayed it extremely nicely here. But I mean, they've even got the carbon fiber texture on the inside. In fourth place, we have an extremely loud fight stick. If you're a fan of Street Fighter, you know this is birdie right away. This one is called Run the Donuts, and I absolutely love that theme. On the bottom right hand corner, it says Lie, Cheat, and Steal. And I think these buttons, I could be wrong here, but I think they're colored this way to represent sprinkles on a donut. If I am wrong, if I'm completely missing the point, let me know in the comments below. If we take a look at the bottom here, it's got run the donuts, we can see Birdie's chain, and well, there is a donut. Moving on to the front of the stick, and well, we've got more run the donuts. This one's hard to get through without laughing. It's not laughing because it's bad, it's just hilarious if you know Birdie at all. This theme is amazing. Birdie looks so crazy and badass, but at the same time, it's talking about donuts. There's little touches here like the dust washer that make this stick just a joy to look at. In my opinion, this stick is incredibly expressive, and if you didn't know this already, this is all custom artwork. Now, keeping on the theme of custom, in third place here, we have this absolutely amazing themed Gengar stick. If you take a look at the ball top, that's the first thing I noticed here. It is completely custom, and I think Fight Stick Guy was the one who made this. I could be wrong, let me know in the comments below. The wiring on this one, extremely clean. It also has a very special lever on it. The artwork on this is great. The overall theme of this is great. It's got LEDs in this. The bottom panel has that window so you can see on the inside. I really don't know what else to say about this one. I guess if you don't like Pokemon, you probably won't like this stick. But if you like Pokemon or if you just like fight sticks in general, this one's probably up your alley. In third place here, if anyone grew up with Sesame Street as a kid, well, this is a trip down memory lane, I guess. Either way, it's just amazing overall. A uh, Cookie Monster themed stick, and this one has a few firsts on it that I have never seen before. The fur around the outside, I don't think I've seen this on a stick. I might have, maybe, I just, I forget. Uh, but I don't normally see fur on a stick. And it's got freaking googly eyes in the buttons, and apparently they work, which is absolutely insane and hilarious. This stick is loud, it's themed very well, and I love the look of it. If we take a look at the ball top on this one, it is a matte black finish. It's not shiny at all, and it doesn't even look like it's ever been used. I could be wrong on that one though. Uh, the dust washer on this one is a cookie with a nice big bite out of it. On the bottom of the stick, the great artwork continues. We've got glasses on the cookie monster, we've got some graffiti artwork. 
This stick is just all kinds of crazy. I absolutely love it. I think this stick would get a lot of attention if it was ever brought to a fighting game tournament. Now for the moment you've been waiting for, Fight Stick of the Month for March of 2022. And we've got this gorgeous handcrafted wooden stick with a ton of features. This thing is gorgeous and it would have taken forever to create. Now this stick has a ton going on for it and a lot you can't even see in this image. So taking a look just at this image here to start, I think this is a bullet lever. I could be wrong. It could just be a custom bat top, but at the same time, it's a really nice lever. We have the hitbox style of layout. We have the WASD style of layout also baked in. And we have the hitbox cross-up style of layout as well. We've also got a few extra buttons and a joystick. So right away, if you play Smash Brothers, well, this stick will probably come in handy. If I take a look at the top here on the handle, we have some additional buttons. And there's also, I think this is a palm rest that's adjustable. The buttons on this appear to be completely custom and made of wood. They would have taken forever to create. If we take a look at the second image here, we can see some compartments that we couldn't see in the first image. And that's why I was saying not everything is shown here. The bottom compartment, we've got spaces for the bat top and some other things. And that looks like a D-pad cover. I just don't see a D-pad on the stick. So I'm a little bit curious about this piece here. The top, we've got a coiled cable that is really nice and color coordinated. Here is a better look at the storage compartment in the bottom and look at that handcrafted dust washer. This is insane. That would have taken forever and look at the precision on it. Here's a better look at that custom cable as well as the buttons on the handle. This stick, I would be absolutely scared to use. I wouldn't want to ruin it. The custom bat top on this is also extremely nice. Every element of this would have taken forever to create. In fact, it's even got a custom keychain here that matches the entire stick. This thing just keeps getting better and better. There are so many layers to this. So congratulations to your fight stick of the month for March. This thing is absolutely insane. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. As always, a huge shout out goes out to the entire Reddit fight sticks community. If you're a fan of fight sticks at all, in any capacity whatsoever, if you like the creativity, if you like the artwork, if you're curious about it, join the Reddit fight sticks community. It's an amazing community, a lot of great members, and good times are pretty much guaranteed. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.